Okay, we've got one live, and can we get two live? Yay, we got both live. Okay, hey, welcome everybody. It's Wednesday, and it's fall. And what happens in fall? Well, it's kind of sort of one of my favorite times of year because I get to sit around with my son and my family and, pl and watch all these fun games. <laughs> Are you guys like huge fans of all this basketball and all this fun stuff going on? So Golden State started last night. That was fun. They had really cool things. They started with their new rings. It was really cool. Their championship jerseys, which by the way, I want one of, of the sweatshirts. They were really, really cool. Anyway, so I love that time of year and it made me think that there's lots of times that you're going to be hanging out with the guys just wanting a cute ponytail. So we're falling for ponies today. We are, you know, as little girls, we fell for, you know, the dream of having a pony. <laughs> and now we fall for the dream of having a great ponytail. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on perfect ponytails. I'm going to scoop back just a little bit so that we can see better because I feel like you can't even see hair. Um, so that's what we're going to work on today. So I think that this year's ponytails are very messy and very big and very ah uh, lived in kind of ponytails so how do we create these lived in amazing ponytails and let's do that today should we so i think um do i have a, i don't have an iron in here guys uh yeah that's a problem okay so we're gonna get an iron hooked up for me so that i can um you know curl my hair if we need to for this and I think what we'll do is debate over what is better, doing a ponytail with straight hair or doing a ponytail and then curling it. Wait, having your hair previously curled, which obviously can do because you can be on day two, three, four, or five or whatever and still have curls. So we're going to figure out how to get those like lived in curls in your ponytail or we're going to um, just do a straight ponytail to start so that you can see what it looks like and see how it compares and how we can get a nice messy ponytail. So I personally prefer these like little ponytail rubber bands. These are my favorite to do a ponytail. The only problem is sometimes they break. So that's why I use the black ones even though you know I should probably use clear for blonde hair. So I'm going to use these black ones and I double them up for the thickness of my hair and sometimes I have like three or four, so <laughs> it's just my preference. Okay, so how do you get a messy ponytail? So I have a few different ways to do it and let's talk about how those work. So I think the easiest way to get your hair into a ponytail is just to brush it all around or, you know, I don't like being perfect, perfect slick back ponytails unless it's like, you know, on the runway, right? So I usually brush that much and then I just scoop up the rest. So that's how you can start with, you know, a semi-messy ponytail. I just let these things live how they live instead of like trying to control every single little bump because I think a lot of people spend a lot of time getting every single little piece in place for their ponytail. And I think it just makes it harder to get a messy ponytail then. So you kind of want to do that like rough brush, right? So you start it and then don't be afraid to kind of let it go once you get the majority of your hair in, right? So when I switch hands and stuff, it kind of gives you that poof up top, which I think is kind of, I don't know, helpful to create the messiness because the messiness doesn't always come like as naturally messy looking if you try and put it in, okay? Oh wow, that's gonna be hard. Well, I guess I don't have to wear it all day. Otherwise, I would definitely put in two more ponytail holders right now, guys. Okay, so then I just take the pincher fingers and I go in and pull like this. And I try and pull from underneath because that gives it support. If you just pull on the top, you're not gonna have the support underneath to give it the lift to keep it up high. And then, this is kind of a funny trick, but I think everybody has like different shaped heads, right? So I think you should accommodate your ponytail to your shape of head. So for me, this part kind of gets more triangle looking. So I always have to pull, see how if I push that in, how it's not as, I don't like that look as much. I like it to be more bumped out. So, you know, pay attention. Like if your head is maybe wider than you want it to be, pull your sides really tight because how, that gives you a more pulled back kind of look. Or if you're, you're always wanting more height up here, you know, you have to accommodate your, 
your dome shape. <laughs> yeah, accommodate your dome shape. So to accommodate my dome, I have to pull out here a little bit more and create more messiness in this. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I definitely want to pull down some of these pieces this year. I feel like that's going to be what is in. And when you pull them out after the fact, I think you can place them better. Like I know I would want this one to come out. So you can just slightly pull these out. Now, if your hair is all one length, this is not as feasible for you. So you might wanna pull these out prior to, but I think this allows you to get a more naturally messy look, okay? And then the other thing you can do is go ahead and pull oddly back here. And as you pull oddly, instead of all even, it will start creating more movement in your ponytail and in your hair up here. So see how it's now kind of messy and it looks like, oh, she really didn't care, but it looks cute. Hopefully that's what we think, right? Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> my face is looking really tan in here today. <laughs> I've done something funny with my makeup today, so you guys will have to excuse me with that. Okay, so I just like to have a little pieces down. And one thing I don't love is if I have this down and then I have like a balding spot here. Not that I have, think I have a balding spot, but I just like it to be filled in. So I'll fill in a little more there. Okay, so now I want to do a couple of different curls up here. And I want them to be very, very um, like lived in kind of curls. I don't want curly curls here. I don't want to look like I'm going to prom. I just want it to look like I had it curled yesterday. And then I don't like something about the way I dried. I dried my hair in a meeting this morning, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I was on a meeting and could listen to the meeting and blow dried my hair. I have to say that's a new new trick for me. I couldn't do that. Actually, I liked it. I was watching too how you were blow drying. Oh, you were watching. Yeah, Tammy was in the meeting. So did you learn anything, Tammy, today? Yes, in the I, blow love, I love how you, you just have good control. I just got to learn more. You got to practice. It's just pulling it forward, being lazy. Okay. So just kind of lived in. Now this bump from me blow drying my hair in the meeting today, I didn't love. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, exposed plate to kind of iron that out and get it more straight. Okay. So I wanted it to kind of bump up more like that. And I think that's a good natural lived in ponytail, okay? So um, after, I'm going to wrap this ponytail now. So to wrap a ponytail, tell me if you guys have a good view of this or not, okay? So you can see. Um, what you wanna do is just take a piece of hair. And I like a longer piece, not super short. And then you can wrap it around. And I'm going to show you how to pin that out, pin that off later, but I won't mess with the whole thing right now, okay? So that's just a lived-in straight ponytail, and I think those are good. So one thing you could do to make that like a little more fluffed up back here is you could get a tighter ponytail to start, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you feel like your ponytail falls fast, it will not hold that volume for you. So make sure that you hold, I'll show you how much better the volume holds when I have a ponytail holder tight enough in it, okay? So now I can get a lot more volume out of it and it doesn't drop on me, okay? And so that makes it a lot more full, I'm assuming, <laughs> since I have no mirror, but I think it does. And so you can just then tease that just a little bit at the base, okay? And that will allow it to look a little bit more messy. Please don't overdo that because I think when hair looks over teased, it is really obvious. I think a lot of women miss that, like the rear view mirror, you know, <laughs> and how to, <laughs> how to <laughs> check and see from all angles to make sure. I miss that rear view mirror. I, I never ever check the back of my hair, so I get it. Like, I, I'm not judging anybody for it, but I'm just, you know, a friendly reminder to do to the rear view mirror check. Okay, so, you know, that's how I would do just the messy ponytail. Now we could also, you know, add some braids up here or some twists if we wanted to. So if you guys wanna see something like that, or I can just get into curling. I'm on the fence because I like how everything is coming out. I love these just lived in. I think these are very soft. And I think guys like um, kind of messy hair like that. And I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to give you guys a hint and then you can guess as to why guys might like 
messed up hair. <laughs> Does anyone have a guess? Anyone? Bueller? <laughs> Do you, Deandra? You're over here laughing. You don't get it? So I think um, genetically guys like those because it might mean you had a roll in the hay kind of hair. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So that's what I think is like great for game day. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I think it's true. I do. I think it's, I think that's why NARS has a blush called what it's called <laughs> because, you know, it's funny. Okay. So, um, so how do we get this ponytail to look lived in like these curls up front, I think would be a good way to play into the ponytail. And then we'll do the wrap around. And then if we have time, I'll try and add in a braid or something here and show you the difference of that. Okay. So, um, people ask me all the time whether I would curl a ponytail before or after, and I have zero preference. The only thing I do like about curling the hair first is well, I like doing it the day before or whatever, but you know, um, if you're going to curl a ponytail with the ponytails all in and you have it all perfect, there's a good chance you could pull the ponytail into a side ponytail or something. So, you know, you just want to be real cognizant. And maybe that's the best um, lesson for you to learn how to hold like zero tension on it, which I think is hugely important. Okay. Just to know how do you get the wraparound piece to stay. There yeah, to, there's always false. I will definitely teach you that um, when I teach you how that wraparound, how to do that. Okay. Okay. So with this, please, please, please do not over curl it. Like, just don't overthink it. Just put in, you know, curls wherever, whatever. Don't love overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> Lived in hair? <laughs> yeah. I love lived in hair. Nobody, no guy wants to think. I think, <laughs> I think when they see perfect curls and perfect, like, untouchable hair, they think of, like, how long they have to wait for a girl to get ready. <laughs> yeah. Or, like... And it makes me think of that, like, how long did that take you to yeah. curl that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, it makes you less approachable? I, I think Ooh. they think, like, oh, she's... Too done up, I you know I'm not gonna be able to approach her or something. Mm, okay, well we don't want an insecure act. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, just kidding. And I'm not saying football game. We do not. Want yeah, that. we do not. We do not. But we also don't want the drunkest guy in the room either. Okay. <laughs> So we're just giving all kinds of opinions. Today. Okay, so that's about all I would curl. I might you know check a couple of the underneath ones. And then I just want to make sure that I'm getting as much volume as I want out of this ponytail. And then you could go through, if you have a rear view mirror, you could go through and do a couple of detail pieces. So let me go in and get a more high ponytail because I think these are more fun for this fall. Okay. So do you, what do we think? Do we think we need more movement in it or more? Yeah, yeah you need a piece on the, you're just missing your left hand side. In your rear view mirror, you're missing oh, that I see right it. there. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to swing my ponytail a little better. Wasn't that funny when you were a little girl and you'd go, why does that girl's ponytail swing like that? And then you realized she was swinging it. And I was like, oh, she did that on purpose. <laughs> I never did that on purpose. I never had that talent. <laughs> or maybe it's because my hair was heavier, so it just didn't swing. Does fine hair swing faster, guys? Um. They're in a conundrum. No I, I, I would think it would. Like, yeah, yeah like when you, if you have ponytails. <laughs> They're over there swinging their heads, guys, <laughs> to see how it swings. Your okay. swings well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, and then I'm just putting in a couple of detail pieces to make sure that they have, you know, just a little dimension in it. Okay. So I'm pretty good with that look as long as I haven't missed, like, the big piece again. Anybody check my review mirror? <laughs> Your mirror is good. Okay. All right. So, how? What is the magic trick to get the wraparound piece to stay for you? And there is. There really, literally, is a magic trick. Are you guys ready? <laughs> it's, let me get my handy dandy kit out. Okay. So my kit is a little funny because my um, these things are much bigger than I would want. These are um, pins. I can't think of what they're called right now. Not bobby pins, just pins, I think. <laughs> yeah, just, just hair pins. That's it, hair pins. 
Oh, thank you, Brain, for delivering my words. Okay, so here's hairpins. These are the magic trick to getting your wraparound pony to stay. So I'm gonna put these right here. I'm gonna get my piece ready. So make sure you just have a long enough piece. Don't take the key piece that gives your ponytail all its lift. Don't take the piece that, what else? Right. Sometimes, you know, it can get too dark, like mine might be too dark, but maybe that'll be good for you guys to see, so I'm going to choose that piece. Um, but if you have too short of a piece, it gives you real difficulty. Okay, so, and this is tricky without a rear mirror again, so we'll see how I do. So you just go ahead and wrap that piece around, make sure you leave yourself enough room, and that's why I also like the small ponytail holders, because they really give you the um, ability to cover it very easily. Okay. You might only down a little bit. Yeah, so you're up a little bit. There, is that better? Yeah. Okay. So now I have to think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this through the initial pin through my hair. Okay, so I have one pin through and I have the loop up at the top. And then I'm going to grab my other pin, open-ended, and I'm going to thread the needle. Okay, so Deandra was real excited about this one over here. <laughs> okay. So she caught me off guard. <laughs> so if you guys were wondering what I was looking at. Okay, so you're going to take this pin. Can you guys see it in there? Um, Anybody? I can see it in. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to thread the loop through with the two pins, okay? And I've captured the hair. So the hair is going to come through the pin. Watch as it slips through here, hopefully. Okay. So now I have it trapped in the first pin. Now I take the first pin and I push it through and I'm going to capture all that hair. It takes me a minute to get through my tight ponytail. Okay, and then you bring that through and take your pin out. And then it should be nice and tight. Okay, does it look okay? Interesting. Review mirror yes. check? Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's how it will stay for you. And it is unbelievable how much <laughs> that saves you. And if you can grab a friend, that will help you a lot. But I'm telling you, that saves you so much hassle the rest of the day. Because the rest of the day, people are usually fixing bobby pins. Bobby pins are uncomfortable. If you get the right amount of hair in there, it will stay. I'm telling you people, and if you have your ponytail, you know, nice and tight. If you have it too loose, maybe there it could slip out, but I don't have that option because mine will just always, <laughs> my, I have to have a tight ponytail holder, otherwise my hair will not stay. Okay, so now, how do we get the rest to stay? Spray with purpose, put the pieces in place exactly how you want, make sure you didn't mess up too many pieces, get it too, too messy, and just spray that in. And then, the way you can control like extra pieces is after you spray, just use the side of the bottle. That will help keep them in place. And then you can just give your ponytail a little spray to keep some volume in it. Okay, and so that's how I am loving fall ponytails, especially for game days. I think this is really cute for going over and watching Super Bowl Sunday and all that fun stuff. Hopefully your team is in the Super Bowl this year. That'd be exciting. I don't know, that they don't know who's in the Super Bowl yet, but you know, soon we'll know. Okay, so that's how we're doing the fall for ponies, kids. Does anybody have any questions or anything? And oh, we forgot to tell what presents are gonna be today. So what are presents gonna be? Well, we think for game day, ponytails, we need the kit so that your hair stays in doesn't look oily, so you can curl it a couple days before and then pop in the perfect pony for game day. You could start on Monday and finish on Sunday. It would be perfect. Okay, so um, that's what we love. So we, we're giving away a traveler set and we're giving away an iron and how can you do the perfect pony without the perfect brush? So we're going to give, whoops, I gave a paddle brush. So there's our kits for today. So we're giving away a few of these today. How many are we doing? Three. Okay, we're gonna do three, guys. So hang on to your seatbelts. Let's get it ready. <laughs> okay. Well, just a note. Yep. Keisha wants to know how she can just order your hair. Oh. Please. <laughs> Please order my hair. You, you do not want, my hair is a pain. I'm telling you, it is a pain. That's why I think I had to learn so much about hair is because my hair is not easy. And we do have a question. They but want thank to you. show 
how to do a little curl, like just to curl your ends. Okay, like so you, if you wanted your ends more curly than what I have? Yeah, and yes, you should curl under on the ends. She oh, curl see. under? Okay, so if I wanted to curl under on the right side, I just rotate out. And, oh, that was not a good one, sorry. It's got stuck in the hairspray. So you can curl under like that, or you can curl under using the curling side. So if you just took this whole ponytail over to the left side, you could just take it and curl it under like that. And that gives the whole ponytail a curl under. Yep. And then a couple questions about when do the products hit salons? Well, they are currently, we're vetting salons right now that will be great partners. So we're really excited about bringing those in. So if you want them in your salon, tell your stylist about us. That's the biggest thing is we just have to get stylists that are on board and we're on board with them and we have them provide education. Yeah, yeah so if you have a suggest or if anybody knows a salon that wants to join our program, we're happy to help. Jenny is heading that up. That's where Jenny is now. She's gone and doing heading up the salon program. So we're really excited about Jenny uh, doing all that. She's going to do an awesome job at it. Good job, Jenny. We miss you here. <laughs> okay. And of course, where do you get those hairpins? Hairpins. <laughs> okay, so hairpins you can get at Sally Beauty Supply or at, I mean, I, I would think maybe grocery stores too. You maybe think? Ulta, you think? Yeah, you can definitely do Ulta, any beauty supply store. Yeah. But Sally Beauty Supply is where I usually get bobby pins because I go through boatloads of them. When I, well, I used to when I was a stylist. But see, this is how we set up our styling kit so that you can have all your stuff in one little thing, have all your bobby pins and stuff. Makes it so easy. And for those of you who are not hairstylists, this is a really easy way to do it. Just grab a little container, and then you just put your ponytail holder necessities in it, and updo necessities, and then you can always find it. And then you're not looking for those things when you need them. It's really a cool trick. And these are what, $3 somewhere? It's, it's really handy to have. <laughs> I need to take one home with me so I have it out, because <laughs> I have them all here. Okay. So do they want to know if you have any natural curl to your hair at all, or do you blow out your curl if you do? I do not have natural curl. I have natural blah for hair. <laughs> my hair goes blah wherever it lays is where it stays, and so that's what I have, natural blah. And they're <laughs> just asking, do you let the iron then do most of the work, or do you blow out to try to get it straight first? Uh, mine depends. You know, I like the feel of my hair when I do a good blowout, so I love what the round brush does. The round brush with the um, boar bristles really gives me a lot of control and gives it that silky, shiny feely feeling that I don't naturally have in my hair, so that is huge for me in blow, blow drying. So I, I can let the iron do all the work, but I really like to lay down the cuticle, and this helps me do that, so I really prefer blowing with a round brush now. That's my new favorite. So, and then how but the iron they, can do most of the work if I need it to. They want to know about the shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to train your hair to be able to go five days without washing? So I'd say give your hair like a month of spreading out your washes, right? So you want to put like one day in at first. If you're an everyday shampooer, how do you, this is kind of like my guideline of how to become a five to seven day shampooer, hopefully. So part of it is, um, extending one day and keep extending one day for like a week and if you can stretch it to two in that week great do that and then you want to stretch to two days in between and then you want to stretch to three and then four and so as as you keep progressively doing that your scalp will adjust now if you are addicted to a powder in your hair to kind of con to consume, <laughs> is consume the right word? Consume the oils. If, it does, if you do that, you are going to teach your scalp that it needs to produce more oil. So if you're addicted to dry shampoo and expecting your scalp to then learn to stretch out things, I don't believe that that's gonna work. It may, and I hope it does for your sake, you know, <laughs> I hope it does. But if you are using dry shampoo in the process of trying to extend for days, then I think you're defeating the purpose because it still is absorbing the oils and that's what your scalp does. It goes, oh, it's sucking up all these oils. I need to produce more. And so it's like a catch 22, right? So 
you know, I have a couple of girls experimenting because I had this theory like last week or something. And so I was like, you guys have to get away from the dry shampoo. It's an addiction. I'm sure of it. And, and I feel like the, the problem I have with dry shampoo is I can always tell when you're using it. I can always tell. <laughs> Once in a while, I can't. I think DeAndre figures out how to trick me. And that's important because make sure you're tricking people. Like, make sure it's not so obvious. Like, so that's, I think that's an important thing of how to extend your shampoos. And believe me, I have never met somebody that cannot do it. If you get your shampoo, conditioner, foundation right, and you teach your scalp to produce less, it will produce less. It's just how your body learns. So you just have to learn to do that. And then have faith in the system, <laughs> it will provide for you. Um, and then also, if you're um, a finely haired person that never blow dries your hair, I recommend blow drying just the scalp, top scalp area in the very front, because that gives your hair lift off the scalp and gives your scalp room to breathe and your hair room to dry. And so I think it will um, be, help you extend your um, shampoos. Even, I, I don't mean blow dry every little square inch of your hair, just this little part right here. Okay, that was a good question. Thank yes. you for asking that because I've had lots of epiphanies on that lately. <laughs> okay, so. And there is a question on off topic on the ponies. Okay. But is it okay to comb or brush your hair in the shower or while it's wet, is that okay? Um, I have no problem as long as you have the right, you know, brush for it. Just one that, you know, I don't, this wet brush thing, basically all it means is that your brush has give, okay? So that's what the bristles do. They just have give. So some brushes have more give and some have less. So, um, you know, just make sure if your hair is snapping in the, you know, shower when you're brushing it or combing it, find another method because that's the whole point of it is don't have it snap. Um, because your hair, when it's wet, it's heavy and it gets stretched. So it's elasticity is at its longest. So it's easier to snap and break. So do I recommend going in and doing that? I always recommend less work. So I wouldn't say go do that, but if that's your routine and you love it, then go for it and follow your excitement on it and just don't snap all your hair in the process. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Or are we ready for presents? presents? Okay. I'm ready for presents. Let me get my stuff, my goodies bags for you guys <laughs> to get to get presents okay so now don't forget when we announce your name please send us a private message that has your name and mailing address in it no email yeah. and mailing address <laughs> why can i never get that it is unbelievable yeah. one day so i'm gonna get it week. one day i'm gonna i know every single week for like how many weeks now <laughs> 20, 50, I don't know, it's a lot. I've said it a lot and I always forget. Cheese. It's okay, it's okay, we gotta do that sometimes, we have to forget. Okay, so presents, who are they going to? We have a Carla Bowman. Carla Bowman, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Do you guys know that if you go on our website right now, you're gonna be real happy that you guys are tuning in right now. I cannot believe I almost forgot to tell everybody that there's a percent off and it's on the top of our website. So if you go up there, you will see what it is. And we're just letting it run for a little bit longer. Okay, go ahead, Carla Bowman, is that who it was? Carla Bowman. Congratulations, Carla, you are our fall for ponytail package. <laughs> okay. Number two? No, our next one is Kate Marie. Kate Marie, Kate Marie, you are package number two winner. And the third and final is Kathy Hutchinson. And Kathy Hutchinson, you are our third winner today. So congratulations, everybody. Send us pictures of your awesome fall ponytails. I'm really excited to see them. And don't forget, if you win this package, please take pictures of your hair before and after because you will not believe the difference that the nutrition plan does for your hair. You're going to be very excited. I know you're going to love the results. And if you don't, you're probably using too much, so use less. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next week with some more goodies for you, hopefully. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.